I've been crushing it all my life and I want to do something for you. Just to keep it simple, it'll be alright. So old crush will be there too. How to drive in the rain, how to change a tire, how to cook some meat on an open fire. Well, you sure to learn all life's good tricks on Let's Crush It with Crush Gunderson. Let's crush it. <laughs> You're going to like it. All right, folks. Since we got a lot of weather things happening here in America, a lot of big weather, something called a polar vortex. It's raging all through America, crushing us, much like I crush life. We're going to do a little rain driving for you. <laughs> so I got my car keys. We have truck keys here. I'm a truck man, first of all. I'm not called Car Crusherson. Or they call me Truck Gunderson or Truck Crusherton. If I was a dinosaur, I'd be a Truckosaurus Rex eating cars. Ah, fuck, eating trucks. Mixing that all up. There's old Blue right there. I keep her hidden behind a barrage of trash cans of similar colors. That way, uh, any kind of thievery can't happen. No one's gonna be seeing her sitting back there. So let's get right to the point here. First of all, you see my specs. These are not prescription, but from what I understand, glasses help folks to see better. So I'm gonna take any advantage I can get out here in this weather, this sort of a vortex, if you will. All right, now, the second thing them chase is gonna do for me here, is they're gonna provide me protection from the raindrop hitting on the cornea. All right, and nothing worse than getting an icicle through your eyeball, fracturing your cornea, done. That eye's gone, not gonna see no more. My eyes are some of my most important, these are my money makers, okay? Now, number two, you're gonna have a big old knife on you at all times, just in case, in case a critter come along the road or something, you know? Or maybe I'm gonna have to use for self-defense. But I'd rather use other types of weapons for self-defense. We're gonna go over self-defense later. This is mostly just a precautionary blade. Or in case I need to do a little hunting. I'll get stuck out there, I got nothing to eat. Which brings us over here to survival kit essentials. Number three. This ain't got nothing to do with food, but this is important. Gorilla tape. Now I suppose it is made from gorilla, so it could function also as a rudimentary beef jerky. If you get hungry enough, you get your carbs, you get your protein in there, you survive for maybe a day. I always keep water with you. I keep it in a glass jar. It's a glass vinegar jar. You might say, why, why, Chris, why keep your water in a vinegar jar? Well, two reasons why. One, some fella come along, he find this, and want to have a sip, he thirsty. I ain't gonna have a sip from this. He's gonna think he's gonna burn his mouth. It's water, folks. It ain't vinegar. Nah, that's the wrong one. That is, that is vinegar. I'm gonna take it anyway though. It's got excellent antioxidant properties. You can use it to clean things with. You can make a pickle. If I go out there, say I get stuck, I'm rooting around the garden. Come on out here, follow me out here. I'm rooting right in the garden. Now you see this here? That's dandelion green. I run my blade through there. Come up with a dandelion. Take my cast iron, soaker in the vinegar. Before you know it, I got me pickled dandelion green vinegar, making greens, making sauce all at the same time. So just go and wipe the knife on the pants. Cause I'm a man. I don't care about no kind of filth on my body or my jeans or nothing like that. So vinegar is always good to have with you. That's why I always take vinegar with me everywhere I go. Number three and a half. Maybe three and a third or two thirds because it pertains to the similar conversation we had. Is a little old cast iron. Okay, see this here? Function is a couple different things here. One, I cook with it, obviously. Two, I can pick up my dandelions in it. Three, it's a weapon. And it's a good weapon. Better than that knife right there. See that knife, I'd take a, I'd take a cut inside a fella, right? It's gonna knock him out. He didn't get to know what happened when he wakes up. You stab a fella with the knife, he wake up at the hospital and say, who, who stabbed you with that knife? You say, Crush Gunderson stabbed me with that knife. Pretty soon, Crush doing time, not doing YouTube videos, not the kind of time I want to do, not the kind of time you want me to do. You take one of them good things, whack a fella across the face there. You see how I stepped in there when they did it? I whacked him across the face. Step, 
and I whack him across the face. Now feel him this way, I'll whack him across the face. I keep this hand up the block. Once again, now the glasses are serving a different purpose, okay? Fracture feller's jaw, the tooth come off, hit me in the, in the eye, cornea still remain intact. I could have lost two eyes today, but now I got them on, so I didn't lose one. Keep my vision intact. Number three that this does, in case you get in a gunfight, you always carry one of these uh, over your chest right here, over your heart. We all know a heart over here. I would say play allegiance to do it like that, over your heart. You can walk around like that. No one even know you had it on you. You know, say, hey, what's up, man? How's it going? Oh, no. Oh. You get shot. They get shot at you. Ah! Going between the fingers. See? Keep them spread. Well, it going between the fingers. Stop on the cast the iron. All right, so that's why I bring these uh, essentials with me. Let's go ahead and get the truck now. Take these things with me here. All right, I'm going to get in this one. Follow me. You got to get through this before the storm breaks. All right, you go around the other side. Meet me over here. All right, now you may say, Crash, why you why you still carrying them glasses on? Which when you're inside the truck, obviously there ain't no rain. They're gonna hit you. No American dream. Mike Williams Jr., folks. Now there are some preachers on TV. All right, we'll get back to that in a minute. I can't do too much of that showing there because YouTube the frown on the uh, copyright of the music there. Hey, pay attention to me. Don't worry about your seatbelt. I mean, we'll pause if you need to get safety. Put your seatbelt on. We ain't going to let you drive out of here without a seatbelt, but put your cameras on crush at all times, okay? That's a rule. That's one of the three R's. Rules, regulations, and responsibilities, okay? That's for you, cameraman, and for people at home, too. Anyways, back to the glasses thing. Protects your eyes, but now I'm inside. Who needs eye protect? Well, you know what any things here? Take take a shot of this right here. These are meant to shatter into a thousand pieces, hit you right in the face and blind you in the case of an accident. That's how the insurance companies make all their money. Blinding folks. Fraction corneas, scraping them up. We ain't, we ain't with that jive, okay? We'll wear these, and like I said before, they also keep your vision perfect. That's why folks be wearing them all the time for vision purposes. But I was born with perfect vision anyways. I'd say if I had to rate it, it'd be a 10 out of 10. Extraordinary, in other words. All right, now this is rain driving. And rain driving is always dangerous, especially in a polar vortex of sorts. There's a flag over there. See that flag, get that on the camera, see that? America. Yes, salute that flag when you see it. I just saluted it, y'all couldn't see it because camera was at the flag, but trust me, I did it. I'm not going to do it again, because you don't just go saluting at nothing. I already saluted. There's another one right here. Okay, flag boy. Yes, sir. All right. Now, rain driving is especially dangerous, especially in a vortex situation. I'm going to go slow. This ain't about showboating, folks. It's about getting there in one piece, looking both ways, slowing down, making sure you're safe. Your thoroughfare is not is insured on both sides, okay? I look to the left, I look to the right, I look to the left, I look to the right. I'm looking, I'm looking again, okay. Now here's my window. Okay, you gotta kinda slam on the gas cause that folk going faster. All right, now we in it. Now being safe don't mean being a pussy, all right? You gotta sometimes get on the gasoline to get yourself out there, get your car where you need to be, okay? Folks will be coming up, they ain't gonna stop. They ain't gonna stop for you. Sometimes you gotta get yourself in there, but you gotta do it safely. You gotta think about what you're doing. Now, I recommend keeping the windows up when you're driving in the rain. It's also good for your gas mileage anyways, because with the aerodynamics, aerodynamical influx of the, of the vortex, see the vortex itself is gonna slow you down, but now we're creating an anti-vortex with an airfoil. That's what this car become, become an airfoil truck. That's what this truck becomes. I don't know why I say car. Some folks say car. I say truck. I always say truck. I always drive trucks. It's because I do work. I do man's work. My name wouldn't be Crush if I was out there working as a florist somewhere. Not that there's anything wrong with florality. I support all them flower pickers and whatnot. Alright, so if you see me, you notice this about me personally. 
I keep 100% aware all the time about my surroundings, everything around me. I ain't even looking at that camera, not once, okay? I'm out here looking at the road. I'm looking at my mirrors. I got these mirrors set up in a way, too. I ain't got one blind spot in this whole vehicle. You may say, well, Crush, you got your bumpers camper on the back. How come you expect to see everywhere? I say, well, I'll tell you how I expect to see because I got them blind spots non-existent, okay? We're gonna do another video on that. Another thing you might notice about my windshield wiper habits. I don't leave it running all the time. Unnecessary stress on the motors of the wiper blades. Second, it's gonna, it's gonna cut down on your energy efficiency. It's gonna make your cooling system and your heat systems all run them up. You don't wanna do that, folks. You use it when you need it. One click on, one click off. Unless it's really coming down, it's better to leave it on all the time. But this is kind of a little splish splash, taking a bath, try to take away all crushes cash. You don't have to worry about that. You just flicker on, flicker off. All right, stoplight, get that, get that. See that, stoplight, it went yellow, now it's red. Start slowing down early, folks. You don't want to be getting up there in this rain and be slamming on your brakes. Oh, 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 crash, crash, Gunderson, crash, Gunderson. I ain't crash, Gunderson. Crush, Gunderson. Damn it, I looked at the camera. I try not to do that. Make sure you folks don't be safe. Even at a red light, you can be distracted, folks. You can be distracted. Always eyes on the road. Plus, there are mother folks out here. They might be distracted driving around on their little text computers on the phone machine. Thumbs are flying wild and wild willy willy nilly. I don't mess with none of that. That's why I don't even have a radio on because I'd be singing along with them songs. They give me distraction too. Well, that and the copyright for the YouTube. But, anyways, yeah, one flick on, one flick off. Looking through the intersection, making sure no one comes on through there, crash at you. You don't want them crashing at you. Always been looking at what them other folks are doing. See a good looking girl on the side of the road while you're driving by. Well, that's nice, but not now. Not for right now, it ain't nice. Crush ain't crush his eyes forward. I ain't crushing on no girl while I'm driving a 6,000 pound motor vehicle. You understand me here? Damn, damn cold, smooth. Hold on, we got the holy grail of trucks coming up here. What we got, what we got here, Crush? Yeah, what is that? What do we got here, Crush? Coming up right here on the left hand side. Yeah, you know that looks side? like a that looks Ooh, like a Kenworth. Oh, big a, boys. That's the big doggies. And that's that big is dogs. a long haul sleeper oh, right there, yes, folks. sir. That is the holy grail of trucks right there to Kenworth. Man, I tell you what, every time I drive past that building, I get me to Willie's. If I had a if I had a credit line, if I had the money, I'd get me one of them bricks. I swear to God, man, I can drive around all this place. I don't even need nothing to deliver. I just be happy back there, just like my pappy did when he used to drive rigs around this fine country. <laughs> Slap out of it, Crush. You ain't living in a fucking dream. It's real life. We're teaching people how to drive in the rain, not fantasizing about rigs. All right. Yeah, that's your fault. That's on you. You don't start distracting me with beautiful things like that. Just like I said, I won't go look at the beautiful the girl. Left. The left. What? Left. Well, fuck. I thought you pointed that way. All right, I'm sorry about that. We're going to bleep out all this language anyway, folks. It's a family channel. I ain't going to say no F-bombs on there. All right? I'm going to find my way back over to where we're supposed to be going here. Now, I'm trying not to be distracted. I'm trying to maintain safe driving practices. Well, this is also a good situation for me to show y'all about how to drive. See, this is a four-way stop. You won't come to a complete stop to make sure your vehicle ain't moving in any direction whatsoever. Ah, oh, God, that vinegar's starting to catch up with me now. I have some of that uh, acid reflex. I'm getting the reflex bad. Yeah, ain't no problem. I'll go home. I'll get me one of them Zantabs. All right, everything looking good. We'll come out here. Right turn up here, folks. I did a flick. I'll do another one for you so you can see how it looks when I do it. It's gonna look real cool, man. I wish I could get it. I wish I went in 60 frame per second cameras, though. Yeah, 60 frame per second, man. That, <laughs> you flick that thing, man, it's like, whoa. Going real slow, real slow like. Where are we going, boss? Are we gonna head over here to this shopping center here? All right, then. 10 four. Should I make a left up there at a, at a light up at Broadway or should you I can probably make a right left. here? You can make a left right in here. All right, I'm gonna get it right in here. 
Man, I'll tell you what, this rain driving, it is dangerous. It's a killer. It's a killer, folks. It kills more people than alcohol, tobacco, and firearms put together. Now, that's a certified fact. I promise you that. But it is also very rewarding. All right, we're live. We're rolling here, folks. All right, hold on. We're going to finish up this video real quick. As you see what this rain has done to this yard, it's just blossoming, blooming, floral season. I take back what I said about florists earlier. This is truly magnificent, folks. This is all because of the rain. Now, I'll wear my glasses, so I'm gonna, I ain't going to stay out here too long right now. But uh, anyways, we were filming a video about driving in the rain. <laughs> Cut off on us. Right out of space on the memory, memory foam or something like that. So... I just, I just want to make sure everybody out there got a good understanding about how dangerous it can be to be driving in the rain, especially if you ain't paying attention, all right? Make sure that when you is driving in the rain, you follow in the four R's, okay? It's respect the road, which is coincidentally one R. Respect the road. The second one is uh, right. Look to your right. And then right again. That makes a left. Two rights make a wrong. That's what they would say. All right, and then the third one. Reverse is not a driving gear. It's a stopping gear, backing up kind of gear. Well, I mean, you don't want to stop that way, but you get my drift. Don't mess with it, folks, unless you need to go that way. The other one is have a riding buddy. That's for me. That's the cameraman. I appreciate him. appreciate what he done for us in the video. So uh, that's about it. I just want to make sure you all uh, hopefully learn something. And uh, I'm going to see you next time. Yeah, that light blind in my eye. I think it's still burning early from when I was filming a cooking video. But anyways, um, make sure you crush that subscribe button, crush that notification bell, and you're going to like it. How to drive in the rain, how to change a tire, how to cook some meat on an open fire. Well, you sure to learn all life's good tricks on Let's Crush It with Crush Gunderson. Let's crush it. You're going to like it.